And then it makes you feel like, wow, is that what everybody thinks? And then, you know, through my 20s, I struggled with having a chip on my shoulder, being angry, feeling misunderstood, feeling judged, feeling like people couldn't see my heart. And so a lot of the ways that I carried myself in my 20s was indicative of of that feeling, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But then when I got into my 30s and I realized, wow, everything that I'm doing is not really helping. Mm -hmm. It's actually making it worse. Mm Um, and so I made a decision to just do something completely different. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I did that, everything in my life started changing. I just had more self-control, had some more self-respect. I already was overconfident and respected myself, but I found respect that I didn't even know that I needed. Yeah, because you um, were making good that every man wanted to be with. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you know. There's a lot hey, well, of game, every, there's every a lot man of, except for me. There's a lot of gay men that say I will go straight for a moment just to have that moment with Megan Good. Tons yeah, of them. I've learned not to drunk drive. I stay in my that. lane. But <laughs> I'm not even gonna say I'm gonna be say, the party pooper. I was gonna say I was a guy that always thought she was beautiful, but I wanted to work with her more than want her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, all up. the people that I know Should don't be. have talent in acting. So they, they weren't thinking of acting. They were in love with Megan Good. And yeah. you dated some interesting people. You dated 50 mm-hmm. Cent, right? I did. So, be honest, so wait, um, you? to be honest, and just for clarity on that, that was over a decade ago. Wow. Really? You know, when we dated. And um, and it was for about a year. And um, I kept it under the radar intentionally. She did. Because I, at that time in my career, I had just come off of Biker Boys. I had just did the music video and my career was going in a really great way. And what I didn't want was my connection to him to be the catalyst in any type of success that I had. Mm -hmm. I didn't want anything from him. I'm not the type of person I've always made my own money. I've always taken care of myself. I've always taken care of my family. So for me, it was really about protecting myself because if people couldn't see the relationship for what it was, they would label me a certain way. Mm -hmm. So I just kept it under the radar. And the fact that people found out 10 years later, I'm like, but that was like, I was like 21. But here's yeah. the thing is you know that 50 is mean? actually like a really great yeah. guy. I saw him the other night. He's the nicest guy ever. Great conversationalist, yeah. kind of, you know, in, the, in touch with his emotions. Yeah. Very in touch yeah. with his emotions. Mm-hmm. I think, but just a, <laughs> shut up. Uh-uh. People <laughs> would be surprised. Yeah. People would be surprised at what a nice human being he is. You have to remember mm-hmm. this is someone that was raised by their grandmother. Mm-hmm. So by all accounts, even what you see in the public eye is not necessarily a true representation of that person's heart. And and I wouldn't have been with somebody who was a negative person or a mean person or whatever it was. It was definitely a person that th- when I knew him, I think sometimes kind. sometimes he lashes out on Instagram. So him and Gilbert kind of get thrown in a bucket of being crazy. There's crazy. the there's the persona, and then there's the person, right. mm-hmm. and they there's a clear you know differentiation between the. Go no, ahead. I just thought of a connection between you two again. I'm sitting here looking. First of all, Megan looks young as hell. Yeah, you do. So does she. You look. No, like, I came in here you, like you let me like get you, that found in youth. But we talk you about her all the time. I was just so you're here. Butter on you know, what, no, right you know what's so crazy filming. is that anytime we anytime we interview a man, you have massive amounts of cocoa butter on your breast. You're right a lot going on today. You're really no. I saw her put that you shit got, on. It was filmed, you got, he filmed. She could have okay. the whole. But anyway, back to the connection between you and Megan. I'm looking at Megan. I'm thinking of waist deep. Right. I love that movie. Thank you. Remember. Games, games in the movie, right? Yeah, games in the movie. He said you drive a Honda Accord. That was the only thing I was thinking. Even though you didn't drive a Honda Accord. It's yeah, but then he also said, the "Picture me like it's in my." And I called him. I was like, "Game." I was like, "What? What is? What? Picture Megan like 